If you're wondering what that noise is, it is winter, and this baby con this is scraping at the ice to try to get the water. It is scraping at the thin part, but sadly it isn't working. It's only breaking off tiny parts. He gets his hand stuck in the ice. It is freezing cold. His hand is stuck in the ice while he's struggling to get out. This, of course, by the sounds of it, he has to be stalked. He is being stalked by a full grown female overactor. She, the the Comsonkitha sees the overactor but can't but can't seem to get the hand out of the ice. He finally has got his hand out. But it has already been too late. He has already been struck down. The Overaptor just wanted to get him out. So she scrapes it with her claws. She drinks some of the melted cold water. Ah. She has done many scrapes. She does it with her tail. It seems to work. So she uses her tail as a little scraper. This is very thick ice. All the dinosaurs are cold and need water. She begins crushing the ice. Using her crest to slowly lift up the ice. But it hurts her crest. What will you do? Would you rather break? If you were an overactor and this thing, would you rather break your crest in order to get water or um, not break your crest and be dehydrated? Put in the comment section below. Be sure to subscribe and like on this video. She chooses to break her crest as it's for her own survival. You can hear her crest bending. She wars in pain, but it's the only thing she can do. She has had enough of this and uses her tail it turns out you didn't have to use do both of that. You could just use your tail. She grabs it. She grabs the huge ice. The huge piece of ice. Throws it on the ground. Revealing her the prize water. How far, there's only not much water. Ah, 
she was in victory. Hold on. She gets her fill. And then walks off. And then she walks off. Dun, dun, dun. But yeah, vote in the comment section what you, what would you do in the would you rather.